Usama's friend. And he is a Palutena, huh? So right off the bat, going going in with the explosive flame against Zero Suit Samus, uh, not the best choice, especially when Zero Suit Samus fry from pure um, pressure and movement. They don't want to linger in the same spot. Um, you can see he's already in this jump animation and where you've set off explosive flame, he's more than past it already. So like I said, Zero Suit Samus thrives on movement, so... Putting, giving while explosive flame is amazing, it still puts you at a disadvantage if the move misses. Mm hmm trading, okay. Mm. Questionable I'll be, if you were trying to cancel it, practice that a bit more. Don't be doing something as flashy as that if you're not a master at it. Because, uh, you're just gonna get yourself hit for no reason, which could have been avoided entirely if you didn't do it. When I mean a master at it, I mean a master. People have lost sets just because of doing that one thing. Nice grab, good from the drop down. Uh, I mean, at that point, you hit him with the nair. Get the grab. All right, you've missed this, but you can see the direction he's going right now. He's thrown out an up air, which you've avoided. But you did not respect how fast he can, she can react right after doing an up air. Zero Suit's aerials are something else you really need to um respect it and the windows that you do have to attack are very small so i think uh if you're not preemptive with your moves against zero suit samus you're just gonna get hit anyway so either be preemptive or um keep your distance and try and get her when she's landed I think Zero Suit is weaker on the ground than she is in the air. Okay, not reacting. He was at a dangerous uh, zone he was right next to, so um, you need to be ready to react either with a block or an attack. Uh, I think using a down tilt would have helped, though. Just throwing it, spacing yourself nicely, getting the down tilts out on the side. Um, see if you could either trade or, or hit him out right with the down tilt. Alright, coming for the nair, but oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh no. Damn. He, he got you hard there. I mean, I understand the nair. I can't argue with you going for nair. No, no doubt. It does put you at a disadvantage. It would have got you the kill if it hit. It's just flip kick. I mean, he, he went right through that. So I can't really comment on it. Maybe there, other than not going for now. Next time. It's a mental note you're just going to have to accept. Alright, good, good aggression there. And that was a great catch. Beautiful uh, use of explosive flame. Especially when uh, he's... Um... See, it's a hard one, right? It's great because he's moving away. He's facing away. But what if he just dropped down where he is right there? Yeah? Instead of going left. Instead of going left, he just drops down and then goes towards you. It would have been a free hit. Free combo for him. Um, unfortunately, he just went right into that. Not paying attention to the flash before explosive flame. It's good that you got him, but it's also bad that you could have um, actually uh, got hurt from it. So I would I would say I don't want to put Napster down, but I think a more competent Zero Suit would have uh, punished you for that. So be more careful with the explosive flames on stage.
Down tilt? No, you're, you're missing opportunities to do that. Uh, again with the nair, I don't think he learnt as much that flip kick is a good evasive option. Okay. Yeah, you're not going for ledge in your panic. Mm, haven't you weren't able to cancel it either, so not the best use of up B so far. Got hit one too many times because of it. You are a perfectly safe space to do that explosive frame, which is which is fine. Um I think the DI was okay. I think you could have held it a bit more right. I can see where you're angling it. It's up and right. A bit more right. I think you angling it up helps him more than you yourself. If you angle it right, um, you know, because of the, the stage that you're at and you, how far away you are from the blast zone, um, you won't actually die off the top. So, yeah. You need very much dead, and I'm going to put that towards your DI, so... Careful with your DI. Alright. Uh, I don't like the short hop. You were a tech situation. Nah. Don't, don't you should stay grounded. Just stay grounded. And uh, sure, maybe if he rolled in, you could have done falling there. And then follow up with whatever. But if you stay grounded, you wouldn't have wasted as much time getting back down and then having to dash forward after reading his roll. That was a missed opportunity. Very wasted. Again, you, you explosive flames on stage. Zero suits uh, fast. You, it's more of a risk of you throwing that move out because, you know, you, just, you can avoid it. And if you avoid it, you're going to get hurt hard. Okay, moving on, Smashville. Already, how huh? this started bad for you. You've got your back turned away. You don't have your back turned away. Eesh, again, face him. There you go. Comes in with a jab. If you have your back turned away, you're limiting yourself with the options that you do have. See, I love these dash attacks. See how you're punishing um, Zero Suit's landing and, you know, how you're winning the grounded battles, how you should be playing. No. Oh. Now you're on Smashville, it's even worse for you to do that. Alright, regrab. There's your down tilt. First down tilt I've seen you do. Mm -hmm, nice punish. It's twice he, um, Nabs has tried to go for this um, down smash. I think he's noticing a habit of you uh, uh, teching in place and just landing in place in front of him instead of uh, air dodging away or uh, tech rolling away. Yeah, no punishing. I think, you see, if you spaced yourself to the roll range and tried your luck with up smash, you might... Oh, it might actually come out in your favor to uh, punish uh, Napster's flip kick. It's it's a it's a good way. It's a good way to experiment and see um, how it works out for you. And if it does work out, then it conditions uh, Napster to not be doing flip kick. I love that you tried it there. He's just a bit too high though. He didn't go for the up smash there at that point. You could have followed up with um, up airs or back air as he's trying to land. Uh, no, terrible use of up smash. 
Way too laggy for where you were. You you tried it there. You tried it there, but not a, you you did it too early and uh, I would say at a position which is still punishable even if you did flip kick. I think you need to be more a bit back closer to the roll range. Yeah, he just went in and managed to fuck that up. Crazy. All right, yeah, good. First use of auto rare, cool. It's a good option to use um, to stop Zero Suit's um, momentum on stage and movement. It, it's even better because using it will actually force her to stay more grounded, which is what you want against a Zero Suit. Yeah. Yeah, up air was a bit... Bit of a commitment there. He was zero suit wasn't even at the edge. She was she was a little bit back, so it would have been better if you just tried to go for the ledge there with your up B. Yeah, It's just blowing you up for neutral. I mean, I don't know why Nafsa did that. It's a bit silly from him. But an opportunity for you to win. But oh god. The Nair was so preemptive. He was already blocking by the time he started it. Again, with that up air, he's nowhere near it. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing you got the second one in. One, two. Th at this point, you follow up with up airs. You got, you're on the platform, so you got two jumps. So, up air. Don't, don't do it again. That's just greedy. Way too greedy. Good use of up, air, up smash. Hmm. Not doing a dash attack fast enough and terrible air dodge. I mean, see how you can avoid that. Yeah, you didn't need to do the air dodge. No way did you need to do that air dodge. You had plenty of time to react and maneuver your way around the stage and away from him. But gave him all the options to uh, punish you there. Let's see if you face him this time and not give you a back. Yeah, you do. But he comes in with Zer. I um, don't blame you for getting hit by that. Um, Nabster has not been doing Zer a lot. Ah, wow, it's a bit unfortunate in there failing you there. Alright, good up, Smash. He's. Got racked up quite a bit of damage against him. I th yeah, the air dodge, I'm not, not too fond of that. Um, I think you're using air dodges in very bad times. Uh, it's a very situational option, so you want to use it for the correct situations, not, not whenever you feel like it or else you get punished hard. You want air dodge to be a sort of last resort when uh, all other movement options for you have failed. Again, you're fucking up the RB cancels. Don't do it if you're not good at it. You need to really lab that more. Yeah, 
Yeah, more, see, Auto Vehicle works. Just do it again. Stop him jumping around like that. Oh my god, okay. Ah, terrible F tilt. Maybe I'm going to put that as a miss input. You probably wanted a dash in. Well, uh, whatever the macro and micro buffering shit is. Throwing out a lot of moves right now, which putting you, giving you a lot of lag. Um, once again, explosive flame uh, problems. All right, it's too slow for that backer to work. He, he had enough time to block and react it. Better option would have been just to empty hop and grab him there. Something you haven't been doing at all, which is uh, empty hop grab. You'd come in for nares or attacks like that with fair, but you haven't really punished him when he's uh, shielded. Okay, try to go for a ledge drum. Good up smash. It's working out well for you. Yes, yeah, good punish. Finally, a good use of up airs. But then you resort back to these explosive flames and it's not working out. And then DI the again, you need to angle it better, go a bit lower instead of up where you would get hit to the ceiling blast zone. Well, I hope this advice and tips help. Definitely uh, work on your neutral and your up B cancels and less explosive flames against zero suit. Keep them for off stage. Okay, thank you for your submission. All right, time for Bebe, which you said you whispered. 